So welcome, I'm here today with Jesse Pyers, who's our director of Lightbox, which is a wonderful addition that we're, uh, I guess we're coming on two years. Um, so Jesse, uh, you know, people know Lightbox in terms of the screening of films and you being an incredible curator and, and screening films, new films. But we also got involved in restoration this past year. And could you talk about, is there a crossover between screening and, and restoration, the way you think about it, and why you thought that was a really important thing for us to get involved with? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, Lightbox has been around for uh, many decades now, um, gone through a few different um, kind of permutations. Uh, but the one element that's constant is that, in, you know, in addition to screening, new works, you know, cutting edge, uh, emerging artists, things like that. You know, we, we've always uh, presented repertory films and, and, and um, you know, classic cinema in, in any way you want to define that. Um, and, and, and to me, uh, you know, preserving film, restoring film, uh, I, you know, I've always viewed uh, that work as, as you know, crucial um, to uh, you know, keeping the the um, kind of canon of cinema you know alive, but also expanding the canon, right? I mean, I think a lot of folks think of film restoration as um, you know Hitchcock or um, you know Truffaut, right? These 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 important uh, works of of cinema um, that need to be preserved and and um, you know represented in some way. But um, there's a whole world of cinema that is missing from that conversation that is, that is um, just not available uh, or, or is generally you know, just not screened. Um, so the opportunity to find works that are important, that are rare, uh, and bring them back out into circulation and, and let new audiences, younger audiences experience them, um, that, that is a really exciting prospect for me. So like every, let's say, curatorial organization, whether it's a museum or the, the constant question is, how do you keep the people who are interested still interested? And how do you bring on a young audience to continue being interested? Yeah, I, well, I have, I have the good fortune of uh, being present for just about everything that, that we do. So I'm able to interact with the audience and, and um, hear what their thoughts are and engage in conversations about film. And, and I am always able to establish this, this idea that, you know, cinema is an event, it's an experience. So, I, and I'm always surprised when folks come in and they, they say, oh, I've seen this film, you know, two, three times in the past, but never on the big screen. <laughs> you know, for them, it's like, that, that's, that's the, the way it should be experienced. Uh, young, younger folks as well. So I think that's an important piece of that work is to convey that, um, you know, sitting in a, in a cinema space with a projector behind you, projecting onto a screen in front of you, you're part of that experience. And it's not that, uh, it's not the same when you're at home and you're on your laptop or your TV and that experience is kind of fragmented and disjointed in some way. You can stop and get up and go to get something to eat, things like that. You know, you're, you're, this is an event and you're here for it. Um, you know, so that that is exciting to me, and in, in being able to um, you know, present that work in that in that way. Not not that I have anything wrong with with streaming cinema, but so I remember being an undergraduate at University of Connecticut and going to Hartford to screen a film that changed my opinion about what it's like to go and sit there. And that was before you could even obviously stream anything. It was just an experience in a different kind of theater. Um, I wish I could remember the name. I remember the whole story. You, you'll know the name. It's, it's about a photographer who sees a murder, um, but doesn't know that they saw a murder. And they it blow up. Blow up. Yeah. And they keep blowing it up, blowing it up, and they realize. And my also interest in photography and the un explain things that the camera sometimes captures that you don't even know. It was a very changing moment. How do we get our students to get there that first time and experience it? It's, it's, I believe the experience will happen. 
it's sort of getting them to, a, to whatever it is the first time, getting them to a museum, getting them to a theater, getting them, you know, how do we get them there to the first time and make it available so they can have that kind of experience? Well, you know, when I think of my work and, you know, I, I, my title is curator, you know, but um, I, I often refer to myself as an enthusiast. You know, that, that, that to me uh, is, is my preferred term because I, I feel that my role is to, um, you know, to generate enthusiasm, excitement about this work. And, and uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm invested in, in these programs in, in, in um, you know, bringing them out to, to new audiences and finding ways that, to, that bring people in. And, and I think that my view is that whether it's older films being preserved, newer works, it's all part of a continuum. And that continuum is about uh, not just cinema, it's not a cinematic continuum, it's, it's the art, artistic experience, right? So artists have constantly borrowed ideas and themes from other artists so in, in the past. So you, you have, um, you know, the tools and the technology might change, but the ideas are re reappropriated and recycled. So that's even across disciplines. So someone working in dance may see a film that inspires the way they view movement or choreography, or someone who's painting can see a film and now they see color in a different way. So it's conveying that, you know, cinema is in conversation with the other arts and that even if you don't have a background or an interest in cinema, you're still going to find something that's going to resonate with you. So what's the next step for Lightbox? Is it, besides the continuum, are you thinking anything else, something different, something that you're excited by? Um... I'm, well, I'm excited to be part of the University of the Arts, uh, you know, being around students and young people and, and hearing what they think of films and what they're into. Um, you know, keeps me um, thinking about films and finding new ways to, to, to bring films to new audiences. Um, and certainly, you know, finding more ambitious programs uh, and, and ways to present films is, is something that I'm, I'm, I'm eager to do. Uh, yeah, and having a, a, you know, a great community to, um, to work with is, is exciting. Great.